other celebrities like Snoop Dogg see the opposite. They are slamming Gail. Watch this. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why y'all attacking us? We your people. You ain't coming after Harvey Weinstein asking them dumb questions. So in another post, Snoop references Oprah and the Michael Jackson documentary, ending the post by saying, quote, free Bill Cosby. And now Bill Cosby himself is weighing in, posting this to Instagram from prison somehow, saying, quote, it's so sad and disappointing that successful black women are being used to tarnish the image and legacy of successful black men, even in death. So this story obviously has legs. You have been going sort of viral every day about this. What is your take about seeing a crying Oprah defending Gail? So this is so layered. I'm just trying to unpack it and take my time. And I wrote down a lot of stuff, so I okay. just want to be transparent with you guys. So first of all, we can't just attack Gail and start death threatening her and you know making her feel uncomfortable online. I think there's a way to communicate it, and it gets lost, like I say, when Snoop Dogg starts cursing her out. And so even though he might not do anything, when she's getting death threats, we have to pull back a little bit. That idea can also exist with the idea that we think that she was too pushy in that interview, and sure. we think that she handled it poorly. Sure. So those two things can coexist. They can they can be mutually. They're not mutually exclusive. Right. And then the other narrative that Oprah and Gail are attacking all black men. I can't support that because I just sat on this, this panel and said, we can't sum up Kobe Bryant's legacy by mm. one thing. So Oprah has sent 400 black men to Morehouse College mm -hmm. and paid their full tuition. Oprah has also employed mostly black people on her Oprah Winfrey network. So how can we just make that the narrative about her based on these couple moments? I would love if they do an in-depth interview explaining some of their choices. And then this is also a layered conversation because I think as black people, we've been so systematically oppressed that we're never in these high spaces. Mm. So when you make it to a certain point in life, you don't want to be the black person to pull down the person who made it, mm -hmm. quote unquote. Because you're saying so, there's so few that actually get there. Right, so if you're Gail bias. King or anybody who's doing the interview that looks like it's shining a negative light on anybody African American, I understand the pushback because it's like, finally we got somebody here, mm -hmm. and you know, you don't want to be the person to pull them back. So this is just a lot to talk about, but I think I'm happy that we're even having the conversation. Very nuanced. Yeah. I am yeah. too. You guys <clears throat> agree with Lindsay? Uh, I, I do, and also you have to understand that it's, it's difficult for black men to emote. It's very difficult. I, I saw it when my father passed away, just getting the text messages from my friends. They couldn't even really express themselves, the phone calls, the voicemails, the kind of stunted sentences, difficult to emote. So a lot of times that comes out as anger. But what Snoop Dogg was, what Lil Bootsy was, what all of them were, well, they were hurt. They were hurt that their one icon yeah. was taken down yeah. it, a week after, I don't even think he's been laid, laid to rest yet. Yeah. So that's sometimes pain manifests itself in anger. It manifests itself in bad, bad language. That's a good point. But let's not lose the fact, and in, in uh, you know, you weren't, you weren't saying this at all, but let's not lose the fact that this is just a lot of pain. Everybody's still trying to unpack, like you said, and, and struggle and deal with the emotions of the fact that he said it in his tweet, his superhero is dead. Mm. And all we're talking about is a case from 17 years ago. So I think that that's what we're dealing with now. What do you think, Brandon? I mean, it's one of those things where people, different people have ways to communicate, you know, and there's a Snoop Dogg way of doing it. There's a Lindsey Granger way of doing it. There's an Al Jackson way of doing it. And I just don't, I think the way this is playing out it's just it's making us as a people look worse, you know, because look how we're playing out on the national news right now. We got Snoop Dogg with a do-rag on, be honest, Brandon, cursing at her. I think it just becomes a very nuanced, layered, complex conversation. I think it's something we needed to have. I'm glad we had it. I'm glad it's out there. Right. But if you believe in Brandon, please let us know. Please yeah. write us in. And that we're not okay in the death threats. We're just saying that it comes from a place of anger. And Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely.